hi and welcome to another video now i have a good news for me i don't know if it's good for you or not but it's good for me that i've just finished playing gta 5 oh wow what a great news it's breaking earth shattering news hold on settle down settle down i have some thoughts on playing this game um, which is amazing and i would like to share some thoughts with you as my audience so without further ado let's get going so i still remember those days where this game was announced and everybody was like wow what a what a what a game what a game it is everybody was like have you heard about this game? I was just like a little kid though, right? I was still that I think I think this much or I think this much. Um, so my friends were, hey, have you played the game? This is called GTA 5. And I was like, I've never even heard of GTA before. And so I was like, no, man, how is it? it says it's it's good it's like real life it's that close to life and it's so real and the graphics and the action and the story and wow and i was like man i, sh I should have given it a try why not right after all i was a kid and um millennial 90s was like everybody's like have played some kind of a game um so i says why not but it was launched in ps3 if um if um if i could recall it right and ps3 was not cheap man it was nearly 400 500 dollars just for the ps not just for the game but only for the ps and then you have to purchase the game and i was like man this is way above my league i could i couldn't afford it so but still you know what you gotta do you gotta play it somehow so you know we went to this with this this kid's house that was he was my friend and he started the ps3 the flashy ps3 and the, and the tv we started playing and i was like man this is unreal but after that you know education come in the way and, and i couldn't do it i couldn't focus it because games it takes time to be able to you know you have to spend hours and hours to be able to complete it but 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 for me it was like kind of new not that i haven't played any game before i've played a ton of games before like um sonic the hedgehog right it was those kinds of cassettes you know we have to plug it in plug it in these like small chips like cassettes you know you have to put it in and then sonic the hedgehog was the for the very first game that actually made me introduced to the world of gaming and then street fighter i still remember i played it on Pentium 2 yeah i'm that old <laughs> um crazy taxi was another game that i played um mostly sega games was my portal to the world of world of gaming so but like i said i couldn't do it i couldn't afford it did not have the money nor the time so i have to s focus on studies rather than just you know playing games so uh, but when i look back those days like those olden days those those days were they were good right and looking back at it it was like those crazy adventures that is gonna be with you and will be with you forever on eternity so anyway now i played it and i have some opinions about sharing my thoughts on that game you can go ahead and you can play the gameplay there will be like a thousands and thousands of videos of GTA 5 but I'm, I'm specifically gonna talk about story mode not online never played online 
did not have the time and the capacity to play online because they're still making content and updates up to this day. So not my cup of tea. But the story, man, and the world really speaks out to me. Let's talk about the characters. So there's a psychopath who couldn't control nothing. He cannot control his his emotions, his temper. He's always on the loose. Mr. Trevor, Trevor Phillips. Then we have Franklin, who is a bloke next door, next block in the neighborhood and and he's a he's just like me young energetic ready to do anything for the money even risking his life and then we have Michael who has everything he has a house and uh, cars house but what he does not have is his 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 closeness, his his relationship. He's so far away from his from his family, and he try to try to rejoice, he try to rejoin, you know, try to reestablish the the breaking connection, which is really the beauty of that game that it really mimics the real world people. Um. Maybe there's a guy who's was like short tempered, maybe in your neighborhood, who can mimic Trevor. Maybe a kid who has never get himself educated, never get the education or school or college and and he's still the same. He's he's still gonna be doing whatever it takes to whatever it takes to change his position in the society and then then comes Michael. That goes to show that money is not everything. You cannot have or you can have money. You can have money of all around the world. But we, what you cannot have is, is the is the calmness, is your people, your wife, your children, your mother, your father, your parents, your brother, your sisters. So that is something which you can't buy. So. Um, so the world, the world is so immersive, man. Um, you can go ahead and, and, you know, you can blow cars. You can, you can, you can rob banks. You can break out like different heists, money, money heists. And then, I mean, it's, it's so good. It's just so good. But, but it really, but you know what? What these characters have similar is, and and I would say Franklin for the most part is he's starting from zero, right? There it is, where it is. Yeah, he's starting from zero. Did not even have a real job, right? He's working with a with a car dealer, with his homie, his friend, and then his he had that Michael, and Michael needs him, and he needs Michael, and then you know they they started this temporarily partnership kind of a deal michael gives him the jobs and he try to pull him you know try to do him then he give, gives him the sum of the money and then you know everything is going fine until trevor comes in right and he burst the bubble he burst michael's bubble and as it turned out michael and trevor was partners but michael escaped and trevor thought he's dead you know and then Everything from there, everything gone south. Um, but you know, they they make it out. They they pull the the biggest heist of the world, right? And then and they and they took their they took their paths. So that's the end. But but life is not the same though. Life is not that easy. I know. I know. If they're if they're gonna if they're gonna go for so realism right just like any other studios realism is good in, just in terms of graphics but not in terms of the story because if if you're going for realism in terms of story then 
it becomes so dull, right? You're not going to have that action pack game like life. You're going to have some dull moments and nobody wants to play dull moments, right? Nobody wants to play as a, as a, as a mechanic or nobody wants to play as a postman or nobody wants to play as a clerk. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to rob banks. Everybody wants to steal trains, right? Get some getaway cars and fly off. But I'm going to leave you with this. This video is getting so long. I'm going to leave you with this. As the, the game, it does really mimic real events. Like the real events that is happening. And, and, you, and you can portray yourself as Franklin or Trevor or Michael. But remember, stop chasing money. Stop looking for your idols. Why are you looking for other people as your idols? Why don't you become your idol? You know what they say. Your competition is not that guy. Your competition is the guy who's standing in the mirror in front of you. So be that person. Consistent. Be consistent. Whatever you do, just do it consistently. And your success will be inevitable. I can guarantee it. The only thing which is holding you back from success, whatever your goal is, is you failed to be consistent. And same applies here. I have I haven't had a I haven't uploaded a video for almost weeks now, right? Or maybe months. But that same message that I'm I'm talking to you right now, or I'm conveying to you, same applies to me. I have to be very consistent. I have to upload videos every day. So that's, that's it. I'm going to leave you with this. Love what you do. Don't chase money. Chase your dreams and be better at what you do every day. Every day. And like I said, you will be a gem. You will be a gem in no time. Just all you have to pay is time. You have to spend time. That's it. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video and if you like the video and you feel like you've got something out of it don't forget to subscribe ring the bell icon and you know the regular youtube stuff comments down what your thoughts on the video and how can improve making more videos like this and cheers peace out